house in the sky and other uncommon animals home. By Stephen Jenkins. Animals like people often need a cozy place to sleep, a highway for escaping danger, or a safe place to raise a family. They need a house. Here is a house in a tea truck. The tree kangaroo spends most of its life high above the forest floor and even sleeps curled up in the branches of a tree. A house can be under the ground. A badger excavates its burrow with powerful claws. It makes a new den often, and it may sleep in a different home every night. Or suspended above it. The reed warbler hangs its nest from reeds or grass, keeping it safe from danger. Some houses are made of bubbles. A Siamese fighting fish takes a gulp of air and then blows it back out. It does this over and over again, creating a floating nest made of bubbles to protect its babies. And others are made of clay. A pair of red oven birds construct a nest of mud and plant fibers. The finished shelter looks like an old-fashioned baker's oven and keeps the birds and their chicks snug and warm. This house is made of sticks. A beaver family works to fashion a lodge from sticks and mud. When finished, the house has an underwater entrance and a cozy chamber that's high and dry. And this house is made of stone. With its tough teeth, the rock-boring urchin chews into solid rock or coral. The urchin may spend its entire life safe in the pit it has gnawed into the seafloor. Here is a house in a hole. When a burrowing owl finds an abandoned prairie dog den, it moves right in. Here is a house in a shell. Wherever it goes, the box turtle takes its house along. If danger threatens, the turtle pulls its head, legs, and tail inside the shell, then clamps the shell closed. Look up! A house in the sky! The common swift spends months at a time in the air, never touching down. It eats, drinks, and sleeps on the wing. A house can be found. Empty coconut shells make a handy shelter for a named octopus. If danger threatens, the octopus pulls two shells halves together, hiding within its portable home. Or build piece by piece. Until it hatches and flies away, a caddisfly larva lives on the bottom of a lake or stream wrapped in a silken cocoon. It attaches pebbles or sticks to its temporary home to discourage predators. This house is borrowed. A hermit crab finds an empty seashell and crawls inside. After a while, the crab outgrows its burrowed house and has to search for a bigger shell. And this house is fit for a queen. Some therm termite com colonies erect tall mounds of earth that can include hundreds of rooms and millions of insects. The queen, the most important member of the colony, lives in a special chamber in the basement. Look, this house is made to dress. To lure a mate, the male satin bowerbird weaves a nest of sticks and festoons it with shells, stones, bottle caps, and other treasures. Bowerbirds will decorate with just about any object they can carry, as long as it is blue. While this house is made to protect. The Venus comb, a kind of sea snail, makes its home in a shell that bristles with sharp spines. 
Few predators would dare a bite down on this house. Who ever hear of a house on a whale? Whale barnacles cruise the seas attached to their companion, a gray whale. The barnacles don't hurt the whale. They're just along for the ride. Or a house in my house. A house mouse may build its nest in the walls of a human's house. Or it may choose a closet, a drawer, or even an old shoe. A house can even be inside a book. The larva of a Mexican book beetle gnaws through the cover and pages of a book. The beetle lives inside the book until it becomes an adult. Then it chews its way out and flies away. Houses can be just about anywhere. A hollow tree stump, a storm drain, or the attic of a building. A raccoon's house is anywhere it feels safe. Here is a house for you. People, like many animals, need a cozy spot to sleep and a safe place to raise a family. <laughs>